Today I want to talk to you about Planet Fall by Emma Newman. I read this book earlier this year and I actually filmed a review, but it was so overwhelmingly positive that I don't think there was much merit in it at all. And I thought maybe I should sit on this for a while, think about it, and then come back to it and see if I can film something that, you know, isn't just me gushing about it because it just, it doesn't help you at all. Planet Fall is about a woman named Ren who is living on a different planet that she and a small population of other humans have colonized. Um, and they went there because of one woman's vision of this god-like being that they expected lived on this planet. They were kind of hoping to find out where humans came from and what things were all about. But things go wrong when they get there and all hell breaks loose. Uh, which isn't actually what the story is about. The story is set 20 years after that and uh, it's kind of about what happens when somebody new comes in and things start sort of unraveling again, basically. So if you think that this story is going to be like a sci-fi adventure type of book, um, I would sort of classify it that way, but first and foremost I would call it a kind of character study. The book is about Ren and Ren's journey, and so don't expect anything differently. The reason why I'm saying this is because a lot of people criticize the ending because it seemed to be really focused on Ren when they wanted to know more about the colony and what happens to the colony, but it's really just about Ren and her experience. What makes Ren really special as a character is that she is suffering from mental illness and she's doing a really really good job of hiding it. So I don't really want to spoil anything so I won't really tell you what's going on, but I will tell you that the way that is written, how she suffers, the fact that for, you know, most of the book you don't even know yourself what's really going on. You suspect and you can tell that she's under a lot of stress and she's hiding a lot of secrets that are kind of tearing her up inside, but she doesn't let you know until later on. So that's how kind of like hidden it is even from Ren's like waking self. Now I think this is really important because even though there are books out there that kind of talk about mental illness or tell the story of someone with mental illness, um, I don't think I've read a book from this perspective. It's a surprise when you find out what's really going on. It's like you kind of knew, but it's really like, oh my gosh, this is really happening. <laughs> the way that the story unfolds and the way that you learn more about what she's suffering um, is really unique and I think a kind of better look at what it's like to have a mental illness. So as someone who kind of struggles with anxiety and things like that, watching Ren navigate this situation, this kind of extreme situation, was kind of almost inspiring, like, look at her go. <laughs> but it was also really sad um, and just kind of hard actually. But in some ways it actually made it kind of a difficult read. Not in a bad way, but like it's challenging to sort of experience these emotions and these anxieties secondhand. This is silly of me because I look at Goodreads, but people were complaining like, I don't care about her internal struggles, but you know, mental illness is something very, there's something very human about it. If science fiction is kind of exploring humanity in like outrageous settings, then what is more human than a human on another planet struggling with mental illness? Like, I just, I don't even know. It just, it's, you know, I just, it's so important that I'm practically without words. It's really hard. So anyway, like I said, I don't want to spoil anything, but I kind of wanted to explain, you know, what's valuable about Ren being the main character with a mental illness and um, just in general like I really enjoyed this book. I read Emma Newman's fantasy series um, The Split Worlds last year, or, no 2014, and I enjoyed it but I just felt like mm, it wasn't all there yet. But Plan of Fall is really a great book, just a really great book. It's exciting, it's interesting, and it's obviously incredibly human. But it's also a different planet and um, there's something really in reach about the technology because their technology is kind of built on 3D printers and things like that. That's how they build everything, but it's kind of a futuristic 3D printer. They can print like organic stuff, um, so you know, they, they print organic matter that can grow and create like houses or, you know, whatever. So it just felt really plausible and um, exciting 
And also, it was kind of an interesting look at the intersection of science and religion. So yeah, if all of these things appeal to you, I hope that you will give this book a shot. If not, that's fine too, but uh, you know, you'll be missing out. And uh, leave some comments below and let me know what you thought if you did read the book. I would love to talk more about it. I have so many thoughts and I read it two months ago now. So yeah, let's talk in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>